I own a keelboat. And even though there were keelboats, keelboat is not part of the common lexicon of an average person. I went to Disneyland many, many, many times growing up. There was one attraction I never went on, the Mike Fink keelboats. And then they went away. And it was like, wow, I really missed an opportunity. But then one came up for sale. And not only did I get a keelboat, I got to go on my keelboat. Now, it resided for a long time in a giant storage facility, and I went to visit it once. And I got to see it, I got to dance on it, and I got to have the keelboat experience, minus the water and minus the entire point of the attraction. It's the birth of May. It was one of two that went around Tom Sawyer's Island and the Rivers of America. The other one capsized, so this is like, of an important piece of Disneyland history. Who doesn't have great memories of the Country Bear Jamboree? It was a unique attraction and the entryway into the attraction, the thing that set the tone was the sign, this carved out piece of wood that always made me feel like I'm about to head to that hoedown. So I bought a Davy Crockett Explorer canoe a rather large item that you don't realize how large it is until you see it. When we craned the canoe over the house, which is an odd sentence, we had to maneuver it around trees and over the ceiling, and it was like the ultimate claw game. Our pool was bookended by a 50-foot sea serpent from the submarine voyage ride and a 50-foot canoe from Davy Crockett's canoes. It was the coolest place for a pool party. <laughs>